what if your browser didn't just show you the internet, but understood it? OpenAI just dropped something that could completely change how you use the web forever. OpenAI has officially entered the browser wars, and this time it's not playing nice. They've just launched ChatGPT Atlas, an AI-powered browser designed to replace Google Chrome as the main way we find information online. But this isn't just another Chrome clone with a chatbot slapped on top. This browser thinks, talks, and acts like your personal internet assistant. So what makes Atlas so different? And is Google finally in trouble? Let's break it down. OpenAI says Atlas is rolling out first on macOS with Windows, iOS and Android versions on the way. And here's the kicker. It's free for everyone at launch. At first glance, it looks like a regular browser. But the magic starts once you begin using it. See, traditional browsers like Chrome or Safari are basically dumb windows. They display pages and that's it. But Atlas understands what's on your screen. You can ask it questions, summarize pages, translate content, and even make it perform actions, all without copying and pasting a single thing. OpenAI's engineering lead, Ben Goodger, who, by the way, helped build Chrome back in the day, said during the launch that ChatGPT is the core of this browser. So imagine scrolling through a research paper, highlighting a confusing paragraph, and just asking, hey, explain this in simple terms. Atlas doesn't just give you an answer, it knows the full context of what you're reading. That's what OpenAI calls the sidecar feature, your personal chat GPT sitting right next to every tab. And it gets crazier. Atlas has browser memory. That means it can remember the websites you visit and what you did there. Not in a creepy way, but to personalize your future answers. Think of it like your browser building a brain that grows smarter the more you use it. But here's the challenge. AI browsers aren't new. We've already seen Perplexity's Comet, the browser company's Dia, and even AI upgrades inside Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Yet none of them have really taken off. Why? Because most of them sound great in theory, but fail in practice. They can summarize pages or answer questions, sure. But when it comes to doing real tasks, like booking flights, organizing data, or filling forms, they break down. They don't act. They just talk. So, can OpenAI fix that? Turns out, yes. At least, that's what they're aiming for. Atlas introduces something called Agent Mode. This lets ChatGPT literally do stuff in your browser. You can ask it to find a product, compare prices, open specific websites, even complete small tasks like sending a form or fetching info, all automatically. It's basically giving ChatGPT a mouse and keyboard. But here's the catch. Agent Mode won't be free. It's reserved for plus, pro, and business users, meaning only paid subscribers get full automation. Now, here's where it gets interesting. During OpenAI's Dev Day conference, Nick Turley, the head of ChatGPT, said something that really stuck out. Browsers redefined what an operating system can look like, and ChatGPT is doing the same thing. That's a big statement. It hints at OpenAI's bigger vision, not just to compete with Chrome, but to replace it as your new digital environment. Instead of going to Google for answers, you just ask ChatGPT Atlas. Instead of using apps or tools, you let your AI agent handle tasks across the web. It's like turning your browser into your digital coworker. So why does this matter? Because for the first time, OpenAI isn't just competing in the AI model race. It's coming straight for Google's throne. Google Chrome has over 3 billion users worldwide. It's the front door to the internet. If Atlas becomes even half as popular, it could rewrite how we search, browse, and work online. Remember when people switched from Yahoo to Google because it felt smarter? We might be watching that same shift happen again, from Google to OpenAI. And here's the wild part. With ChatGPT integrated into Atlas, every website you visit, every question you ask, and every task you complete feeds into a single intelligent system that learns how you use the web. That's not just a new browser. That's the start of a new kind of internet. Whether it will win the war or not, that's up to how fast users fall in love with it. But one thing's for sure. The browser you're watching this on might soon feel like ancient history. Subscribe for more such videos and click on bell icon to get updated.